Hello and welcome to this Innovation Coffee Break. My name is Fabian Engelmann and today I want to talk about the whole data logging process and I want to tell you how you can upload uh, all your logged sensor data into your cloud and the fastest way to do this is with our Autera Wake Upload Station. But first, let me start off here. For testing and validation of ADAS and AD functions, we are logging huge amount of data with our Autera Autobox. In the end, everything is captured on this Altera SSD. When I connect the screen to the Altera, I can have a look at, at the collected data. But when setting up your data logging process, you have to think about the whole data pipeline. Let's say you're driving around and collecting data with 20 gigabit per second continuously. That means on an eight hour day, you end up with 72 terabyte Let's say you're driving around with 30 gigabits per second. That means you will end up with 108 terabyte. And if you're using the whole 50 gigabits per second that we can offer you with Altera, then you will even end up with 180 terabyte on each day. With your current infrastructure, how long does it take to upload this amount of data? Because the data on this SSD is essentially not usable if you don't have any way to upload it fast enough. All this shows the need for an efficient data pipeline. We want your developers to be able to access the data on this SSD as quickly as possible, but we also want this SSD to be ready for logging on the boat again. Let me unmount this SSD. Your driver can now use a plug and play mechanism to exchange this SSD with a fresh one and continue driving. So what's the fastest way to get the data of this SSD up into your cloud or into your server? The fastest way to do this is with our Autera Wake Upload Station. This device fits into a 19-inch WAC and runs a standard Ubuntu. Here we can insert up to two of these Autera SSDs. You just have to insert the SSD over here and now the device is, m is mounting the SSDs and is checking for errors. I want to show you now how easy we can trigger the upload process. For operating this device, we've built in this touchscreen. Here we can choose what should happen to the data on both SSDs. I can choose one of the predefined upload configurations. But before I trigger the data upload, let me show you this. This screen is connected to the upload station. Here, I've mounted a network file system of my Linux server. I have remote direct memory access, and I can see that in this folder, there's nothing right now. On this left SSD, I have the, the data of the small test drive, which you've seen earlier. That should be around 20 gigabyte. Let's see how fast we can upload that data. And we're already done. As you can see, we've got an average upload speed of over 71 gigabit per second. So where's my data now? As you can see, this folder which was empty earlier now has one directory which has a size of 23 gigabyte. So I can verify that all my data has been transferred. Otherwise, I would also get an error message through this touchscreen. Speaking about error messages, you can always also have a look at the web interface and see the log messages to check for errors as well. So how did we do that? In the back of this device, I have this optical QSSP cable. This cable can transfer data with up to 100 gigabit per second. This, of course, can be adapted to your IT infrastructure. We can, for example, use breakout cables or insert another module to have, for example, two 50 gigabit connections. Of course, we can also upload data to public cloud service like AWS or Azure. Also, there's no way to read data with over 70 gigabit per second from a standard SSD. So by using our custom Altera SSDs, we can control the weight controller and also tune the reading and writing process. And now, after uploading the data, I can just press this button to dismount this SSD and give it back to my driver for the next test drive. 
As you can see, you don't need any technical knowledge to operate this device. You just have to choose one of the predefined configurations to trigger the data upload. This way, you can directly get back on the road for your next test drive, and also the data is already available for all your team members in the cloud. So now all of your team members all over the world can access this data, for example using our data management solution IVS. Through this web interface you can now access the just uploaded data. Here you can see the recording from earlier. Besides the raw sensor data, we also have metadata and annotations to make the recording searchable. Using this, I can choose just snippets from the recording to use for further computation. For example, I can search for situations at daylight and with no speed limit. These can now be chosen to execute any kind of algorithm in the cloud. So let me now talk you through the whole data acquisition process. The most efficient process to make the data valuable and usable in the cloud. First, you start up with a bunch of sensors which need to be captured. These need to be connected to your logging hardware. Here, the Autera Autobox is flexible and that, can, that we can just exchange a few hardware bots to adjust it to your needs. By using our custom Autera SSDs, we can capture data with over 50 gigabit per second continuously. Also, the data is stored together with timestamp information, which is precise up to the microsecond. To, to also give the driver information of the health of the system, what's going on inside, we can use a standard Windows tablet like this. Metadata information can also be added by an algorithm on the Autera. Also, processing algorithms like data compression or encryption can be included on any, any step of the way. Further, with, the, with this app, we can add tagging information to make the data searchable later on. Further tags can, of course, also be uh, included by algorithms run directly running on the Autera. Even running AI algorithms is possible as well, but when you choose to integrate a high-end GPU in there. So in a whole day of data logging, you will fill multiple of these SSDs. Once one of them is full, your driver can just stop and just plug in a new one without restarting the system. I've shown you the fastest way to upload your data is by using the Altera Wake Upload Station. But apart from that, we also have the Altera Desk Upload Station. This has a Thunderbolt 3 connector to connect to any kind of computer. This way, the storage will be recognized as a standard external SSD. So now, the data is accessible through this web interface from all over the world. We can search through the data to use it, for example, for AI training and testing and validation processes. If you've got any questions about any of this technology shown, please contact DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.